Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Uj back again, once again. And really quick, I wanted to make this little video um, detailing some things that might actually have to do something with the cut versions or cut pieces, I should say, um, from Dragon Ball Super Broly. So we all know that Akira Toriyama made a three-hour script, and we all know that a good chunk of what we saw in the movie you know, was cut out. And it goes back and forth between a lot of fans and a lot of conversations that I've had with plenty of people that have seen the film a few times. They feel like, you know, after seeing it the first time, the second time, third time, so on and so forth, they feel like um, that they they could tell that certain things were cut. And it does make sense if you think about it. And this actually might be something that we could probably place within, you know, some point during the movie. I would imagine, you know, prior to first seeing Bardock's appearance in this film. So I got to give a huge shout out because, of course, we are covering stuff straight off of the Konzenshu website. If you haven't been on Konzenshu, um, it is probably like the best database for all things Dragon Ball from translations to a bunch of different guides and whatnot and they do their own podcast as well so huge shout out to Konzenshu and there's no affiliation with their website at all but I did want to do this video for you guys and talk to you guys a little bit about it and get your opinions and comments you know because of course this is a discussion video what do you guys think um, about this current situation so I'm not going to read the whole article to you guys obviously because you know I'm going to provide the link in the description for you guys to just check it out for yourself um, and of course you can also find it in their translations page um, right here so moving right along I'm going to go back down go down to ba or what basically what this is to, so basically what this is right here is Toyotaro he does like a monthly artist kind of um edition or like I should say submission um, and it's basically called so right here so he provides a sketch um, as well as a brief comment and this goes on the official Dragon Ball um, the Japanese Dragon Ball website right here um, and he does it for characters that have not appeared okay whoops I clicked on that didn't know that was a link <laughs> sorry and that have not appeared in Dragon Ball Super thus far okay so it's pretty cool um, if you want to see all of the characters that he's done so far starting all the way back up here um, you can literally go down and see for yourself all the characters and little cool things that he's done and of course um, you know thanks to the, the translators over at Konzenshu they have the translators so right here like we see like something with Oob um, and Chapa who I actually I have no idea who that is I might I, I have no idea so but anyway just that's to give you guys a quick little example there but this time around for the January 2019 entry Toyotaro has uh, contributed something relating to Bardock's crew who was you know obviously absent in this film and surprisingly at that because you know I feel like they played a big role um, in, as far as you know adding um, you know uh, layers of, of characteristics to Bardock himself um, you know, if you if we're gonna reference the 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 original special, obviously uh, uh, Toriyama took things from you know the the works of the past from Toei. Um, and as a matter of fact, for those that don't remember this, uh, Toriyama was actually inspired by that special that he then made Bardock a, a quote unquote canon character. I know you guys know that I try my best not to use that term. Um, but there you go. He was inspired. He put Bardock in his own manga. Originally, Bardock, you know, wasn't, I guess, intended to be in the original manga of Dragon Ball Z. Um, so here we go. I'm going to read the um, this little dialogue or this, you know, all of these um, caption bubbles that are going on right here and all the translations right here. So, so from Leak, there's been an order to return home. So Bardock and I are about to head back to the planet Vegeta. What about you guys? Toma says, a return home order? Wait, just a minute. We haven't heard anything f of the sort. The Doria, heh heh heh. That's because you're all about to die right here and now. And the narrator says, after this, they lost contact with Toma and company. That is the event that caused Bardock's suspicion of the return home order to grow ever stronger. Uh, and then Toyotaro adds at the end, it's Pum Pumbumkin or Pum Pumbukin Seipla 
Totapo and Toma. It seems like these four were involved off in the background of the Broly movie. Or at least that's how I imagine it. And he adds laughs. So, of course, this right here, this scenario, okay, this this could have been part of the original script that was cut. Um, I, I, it would make sense, especially considering that the narrator, um, you know, says it right here that, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, no, 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 no. The Toyotaro himself said that uh, it seems that these four were involved off in the background of the Broly movie. Um, so if you were to put this into perspective, if you if you put this in, like, in order of events that happen in the movie, um, Bardock kind of just has his scene that's basically, ta it's basically the start of Dragon Ball Minus, in a sense, um, where he's flying in space um, with his crewmate, and he's, you know, he's revealing you know, his, you know, his suspicions or he thinks that it's random that, you know, they're immediately just, you know, randomly just, you know, been told to just report back to the planet, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I would think that this particular scene could have been what happened prior. And, you know, we would have seen a little bit more action out of Dodoria, um, you know, because I guess in this in this scenario, Dodoria is still responsible for, you um, killing off of killing off Bardock's team so that's just my two cents I feel like that's that would be part of the the things that got cut from the original script I'm still you know having my fingers crossed my toes crossed everything's crossed um you know in hopes that we do get some kind of director's cut I highly doubt it because that that is a lot of extra footage and content to add to the entirety of the movie um, it's not known whether or not they, you know, they they recorded scenes that were, you know, ultimately cut or if they just stuck with the cut version and then started recording. I don't know the order of that entirely. Um, maybe hopefully sooner towards the release of the Blu-ray DVD um, releases that uh, we'll find something out. Or we'll just have to look forward to the anime and hope that we'd see everything that Akira intended for us to see in his script in the anime. But again, guys, that is, you know, that is the scene right here out of the, you know, monthly Toyotaro edition off of the Dragon Ball Super Japanese website, which you guys can check out for yourselves. And of course, a good big thanks to, uh, to Kanzenshu for the translations. And this is their translation archive. If you want to see everything else that they have completely translated um, in works that, you know, were, are only in Japanese and, you know, pretty hard to find unless or to understand if, you know, unless you can speak the language yourself. So again, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great one. You guys have, you know, all the 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 description notes, um, links to follow uh, if you want to continue to support this channel. And again, guys, take care of yourselves. Have a have a good one. May the power protect you. And I'll see y'all next time.